training. And I think what we are doing today has really signified what I said. Secondly, we are going to also work on welfare, and we have been doing that. Thirdly, we are going to work on professionalism and discipline. But they say, generally, discipline starts from training, and we can see. It is my pleasure today to be here for the passing out parade of officers and men of the Corps for this arms training by seven. Today, we are witnessing the passing out of parade of a group of officers who about eight weeks ago were carefully selected among other personnel. I must give credit to the instructors who have within this short period transformed, tutored, nurtured these men to the end, to be, to the end products which we see before us today. From the reports I received from the training and the parade we witnessed today, there is ample evidence that these officers and men have passed through an intense and very rigorous training and have come out ready and well prepared to contribute their quota to the, to the actualization of the core mandate. I must say that you have done yourself proud and all your instructors this morning with your immaculate smartness for the parade. I commend you all for your dedication and submission in successfully finishing this training. I know that I know that to attend the standard set by the new leadership of the Corps requires a new mindset. However, your resilience and determination to complete the training shows that you are all fantastic achievers. Please be aware that this is just the beginning. Ahead of you lies years of service to the people of this, to the people of this country, which I am confident you will perform with a traditional fair and selfless devotion to a duty. Your passing out ceremony today is coming at a period the nation is passing through an intensive security challenge. And as a form as, and as the forms and manifestation of insecurity are constantly evolving. Law enforcement responses have to equally evolve in order to stay ahead of the criminals. As we are aware, the nation is experiencing a new conflict. And what is, a, what is, what, what, what is that conflict? The asymmetric conflict. It's a conflict that looks like a guerrilla type of fight where the hoodlums, miscreants, insurgents, and bandits will come out and hit on, and hit on uh, targets, and then they will go back to hiding. Now, the only strategy to deal with this crisis is we must come together and work as a team. And that is why anywhere I find myself on a podium giving a speech, I talk about synergy, scientific synergy, because we need to come together and use what is called credible intelligence so that we can nip this problem. This same conflict has dealt with countries for many years. Example of that is Sri Lanka, where we have the Tamil Tigers who dealt with Sri Lanka for about two decades. It is the same conflict, and so we really have to come together to see and make sure that, yes, we solve this problem. As part of effort, as part of effort to reject, reposition the call for effective service delivery, this administration has intensified regimental and capacity building training and retraining of our staff. And I will ensure that this is sustained across all commands and formations of the core towards the fulfillment of our core mandates. As you are all aware, my administration came to office determined to make impact in three major areas, which I've explained. Training and manpower development, professionalism of the core, and improvement of staff welfare. We have also embarked on some crucial changes in our structure and modes and modus operandi. Two additional units, such as the female squad, rapid response squad, have been created to reject and enhance the strategy 
and operational and tactical performance of the Corps in various operations. We can therefore say that recent positive development in these areas have definitely shown that despite the enormous challenges, we can see a great light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> against terrorist group in the northeast, anti-banditry banditry operations in the north central region, and various operations in the south south, southeast, southwest region of the country against the enemies who are bent on crippling the economy of the nation by engaging in wanton destruction of lives and critical national assets and infrastructure, which include food oil and other assets and facilities. The Corps is currently undergoing a period of self-appraisal and self-renewal. Therefore, indiscipline, unprofessional conduct, disloyalty to the system, disobedience to the constituted authority, and insubordination will be ruthlessly dealt with. Consequently, you are charged to, to be at your best all the time, as defaulters will be seen, will be, will be shown the way out. On our part, we will continue to demonstrate zero tolerance for crime and criminality. And those who take laws into their hands, who bear arms illegally, and who seek to profit from a climate of fear and insecurity, will also be dealt with accordingly. Because the peace and stability of our dear country is very, very sacrosanct and paramount. And I have come with a renewed vigor to rid the country of all forms of crimes through effective deployment of 